and welcome back to Stuff and Things. I'm on a couch. So, it looks like the Beebster has left his pet monkey in Germany at an airport. Why, you may ask? Well, he didn't have the proper documentation of the monkey's origins or its vaccinations. The monkey is a capuchin monkey, and its name is Molly. And apparently it was a gift from the Beepster's manager, because monkeys are a gifting item. So Justin's got four weeks to provide the necessary documentation, or else the monkey will be put into, you know, somebody else's care. There's also no word yet as to whether Justin has inquired about his monkey yet. The only question I have about the whole monkey situation is why would he have a pet monkey in the first place? I mean, I know it was a gift, but monkeys are like children for the rest of your lives, for the rest of their lives, when you have them as a pet. Isn't that like a lot of responsibility for a 19-year-old boy? Why not start off with something a little more self-sufficient, you know, like, like a cat? But I don't think a cat would really appreciate having to go on tour either, so... How about no pets until you're done touring? So this past Friday, there was a horrible oil spill from the Exxon pipelines that go through Arkansas. Yes, it's filled with Canadian oil, but that doesn't matter because all oil anything is evil. And all countries are all about the oil, so it's not, you know, it's not the country that provides the oil's fault. So the pipeline that burst is called Pegasus, and parts of it were built in the 40s. And the great thing about Exxon is, is that even though these pipelines are like old, like really old, there have been stretches of the pipeline that have gone uninspected for like five years at a time. In fact, the part that I'm talking about underlies the Mississippi River, meaning if that went, the river would go. Not a good thing. So what I'm thinking is, what I'm always thinking is we really need to implement some new power resource strategies. Doing the oil thing, not good for the environment. I mean like Earth will always be able to figure herself out. But you know, as far as us living on the Earth and animals and plants living on the Earth, we continue to do what we do to it. We might not be here for that long. But you know those poor, big, powerful companies? They just won't be able to make any more money, and they won't have power because they control the oil. <sighs> it's a sad thing. How about we also get rid of money? We definitely don't really need it anymore, seeing as we are incredibly abundant, at least here in North America. But that's a sticky issue for another time. Do you think that we'll eventually be able to sustain ourselves with green power sources? Let me know in the comments down below and if you have any crazy ideas, you don't need to tell me all the intricacies because if you, you know, if you want to patent it and, you know, make lots of money, that's fine. That's okay. But let me know anyway. And if you liked what you've seen today, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button because they're one button. Hey. And I will see you later.